Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about how to be a good apprentice, some things to make you a better apprentice, and uh, anyways, terrible intro. Um, so this video was brought to you by IDKJUL, um, left a comment and wanted to know how to become a better apprentice. So I'm going to give you 20 tips here. Hopefully these help you out. If you are subscribed and coming back to watch this video, I appreciate it. Thanks for the video idea. So. Um, I'm just going to start off, number one, be respectful and be kind. No one likes rude people, especially if they're older apprentices or whatnot, like 30s or 40s or whatever. Just be kind. No one likes people rude and thinking they know it all. Number two, d try not to complain. This is a big one for me because I'm like a ginormous complainer, but um, since I started working at my new company, I just try to keep it to myself and be quiet. And I just feel like a better person when I'm not complaining to everyone. I feel like everyone like looks down upon me if you're complaining or whatnot. So, uh, just try not to complain. Just be quiet if you have nothing good to say, or just um, say stuff in your head or whatever. Number three, try not to argue. Um, and that kind of goes back to the thing of uh, don't be a know-it-all, which is two down on my list. So don't be a know-it-all and don't argue. Um, it's one thing to disagree or whatnot, but just arguing and kind of like verbally fighting or whatever. Not a good thing, so try not to engage in that. Um, do what you're told exactly how you're told. I know sometimes as a apprentice or whatever, um, you might think you know um, a better way to do it and maybe you do have a better way to do it, but if someone tells you your boss or whatnot tells you to do something, do it the way they want it because if not, you're gonna yell that and maybe get fired, I don't know. but depends on the person you're working for but just do what you're told even if it's not against even if it's against code or whatever like I remember um, in a one situation where I was hanging boxes for outside um, outside plugs I was hit, I was hanging a spreader bar and then putting a, a box with a screw through the back of it which is pretty illegal um, so anyways that's um, how I did it um, it passed inspection or whatever no one ever complained so um, just do what you're told and everything will be good even even if you get like even if you like fail an inspection or something it's not on you you're following you're following the orders or whatever just do what you're told um another one is suggest ideas like if you're standing around talking um trying to figure out how to do something and like, trying to accomplish something um suggest ideas don't say this is the best way or argue about it just su suggest ideas and if uh, and if they like it, they'll use it. If not, maybe they'll know a better way because they've been in the trade longer. Um, another big one is adjust to your coworkers, um, whether that's talking or not talking, or just um, know what others know what other people like. So there's this one guy in my mind who uh, really bothers me. He jokes 24/7. Uh, luckily, I've only had to work with him a couple times, but. Um, if people don't like your jokes or think you're annoying, don't be annoying, you know? Just like, if you know people don't like your jokes, don't make jokes. Just try to be respectful. It goes back to the first one. Be respectful and be kind. Um, another big one, which goes along with that, adjusting to your coworkers, is horsing around. I know, like, um, it's, not, it's not always fun to be boring and stuff and just working, but there's some things that really, really piss me off, and horsing around is one of them. Like... If you're working on a ladder and someone tries to like shake it or hit it or just bang against it just to be funny, I really, really hate that because for one, that's not safe and you could fall off and number three, I don't remember, so um, don't don't horse around, it's not safe and it's really not funny, it just depends on the person, but it's just be safe. Um, I think I already talked about asking questions, well maybe I didn't, so ask questions if you don't know what you're doing, ask questions. Uh, if you want someone to check over your work, ask them to. Don't be afraid or ashamed. If you, I literally came into the trade with no background experience. I knew nothing about electrical, so I literally knew nothing. So people often hassled me for being green or whatever, just knowing nothing. That's a term that people called me. So um, I mean, whatever. Who cares if they're gonna be jerks about it? Whatever. They're jerks. So just you're gonna have to put up with some stuff, but um, just ask questions and do it right. I, want, I tend to ask a lot of questions because I don't want to do stuff wrong, so I over overly ask questions, so whatever. No, people, 
um, might get annoyed sometimes if you ask if you keep having to repeat yourself to understand it but for the most part it's not a big deal um, and I think I just covered this one having someone show you something for the first time so if you don't know something maybe you say can I watch you do this real quick or or explain it a little bit more or whatnot it just kind of goes back to asking questions uh, another one be on time don't be late to work and another one don't be on your phone a lot that's really annoying when you need help or whatever and people are just standing still on their phone or whatever or another one which is on my list so um, would be talking and working some people stop and talk for like 10 20 minutes three hours you know some people are just ridiculous and don't want to work but you can talk and work that's fine but if you're just gonna stand still and talk to someone that's really not okay with me uh, that's one thing I really hate uh, next one working hard um, just grind you know just don't be lazy and uh, there's another one down on the list that I'll go with that so I'll get to that later um, have good craftsmanship and pride in your work don't do crappy work which also goes back to doing it right the first time which is the last one on my list but I'm just gonna add that in now because it goes with this one uh, have a positive attitude anticipate the next move so if you're working with someone and you know they're stripping some wires have some wire nuts ready or whatever just anticipate what they're going to need next if they're they're going to need a tool a wire nut or whatever the case may be uh, if they need some tape or whatever just have it ready to go they'll really appreciate that um, also like running and grabbing stuff for um, journeymen they really like that like uh, if they need more light fixtures or they need something out of the trailer, a tape or whatever, or a box or whatever it may be. Um, they appreciate you running and getting them stuff. Um, another one, watch and learn. So what if you don't know how to do something, maybe they'll show you or just watch someone uh, working or whatever. Maybe you'll learn some tricks off of them, whether that may be how to strip a wire or um, unsheath the wire or whatever. Just, um, just watch and learn from what um, journeymen do. They have a lot more experience and if you're fresh in the trade and don't know nothing then you will obviously learn something from them so um, learn from your mistakes try not to repeat your mistakes twice um, another one is learn from others examples or from others mistakes um, another one do good work well this is the last one do good work and as quick as possible which also goes back to do it right the first time um, a lot of people don't it doesn't really matter just, I don't want to make this sound wrong. It doesn't really matter how slow you go at the beginning because people know that you're brand new. But you'll, they'll obviously expect more out of you the longer you work for them. So um, they'll obviously want you to improve and expect you to improve. But um, when you're starting out, um, you kind of have to get the feel for it or whatever, depending on what you're doing. Like if you're wiring plugs or making up plugs or just uh, running wire or whatever the case may be. So that's the 20 to 22 things i have on my list and i threw a few more things in there so uh hopefully this helped you out um just a list i made in like half an hour or whatever when i was playing fortnite so hopefully this helps you out uh thanks for the video idea thanks for watching the video i appreciate it god bless have an awesome rest of your day and if you want to follow along my instagram or anything else like that um i'll put them in the links below i have electrical um electrical instagram uh corvette instagram and stuff like that so and then I've also been uh, streaming recently. I've been playing a lot of Fortnite, so um, if you want to play with me on Fortnite or just watch me stream or hang out in the chat or whatever, then uh, check that out. Um, I definitely enjoy it when people are watching and uh, uh, watch along and stuff like that. And It's a lot funner when uh, there's people there and you're not by yourself. So anyways, I'm going to end this video in nine minutes. So thanks for watching. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Catch you later.